This will be a tutorial series for absolute beginners. I'm gonna show you that it's very, very easy, even for a kid. After Effects is really that easy, okay? You have to create a new composition. Okay. Hit on the text symbol. Okay. Okay. Fish. What is it you're writing, Lulu? Fish pun. So let's animate the type, okay? Welcome to my home office. And I would like to show you something I'm working on right now. So this is a key visual I made for my client. Uh, it's, it's a technical thing. Yeah, my client is really excited about this and some other key visuals I made for him. And this is why he decided, okay, let's have this animated. The only problem is that it would be very expensive and time consuming to render this in a 3D program like Cinema 4D. This is why I'm going to animate it entirely in After Effects and I'm going to use lots of keyframes. This visual is an animated banner that is meant to be integrated into the client's website, so it doesn't matter that it's not animated in 3D. That was a little glimpse of what I usually do for a living. I'm a motion designer. A lot of you, including me, have to stay at home right now. Well, I'm used to it because uh, I'm a freelancer and I've been working from home anyway ever since and i thought while you are at home you may want to start learning how to animate and do motion design and after effects this will be a tutorial series for absolute beginners i have the throw in at deep end approach my goal simply is to teach you something that you can apply instantly let's start with keyframes and i'm going to show you that it's very very easy even for a kid. Please hit P for position. Okay, this is the position, you see it here. Put the blue line to frame zero. Good. Well done. Whoa. Lucia, now you're creating your first keyframe. Hit here on the stopwatch. Right, exactly. Take the play hat, put it right here. Now put this side to the right side. Perfect. This is your first animation, Lulu. <laughs> it moves. Wasn't that easy? It was easy. Well done. <laughs> Can we post it on YouTube? Oh, sure. I guess there's nothing more to say. But let me give you a little round up. Before you start an animation, you have to create a composition by clicking on New Composition. And the composition settings pop up. A composition is some kind of a canvas on which your animation will take place. You can change the format. In my case, I'm gonna set width to 1080 pixels to match the composition's height, which gives me a square format suitable for Instagram, for example. You can give the composition a unique name, like my first animation. Most usual frame rate is 24, 25 or 30 frames per second. In my case, I choose 24 frames per second. That's common when you do cinematic stuff. The duration will be 100 frames, which is about 4 seconds, and then I hit OK. And what we need now is an object to animate. Let's create a text layer by double-clicking on the text symbol in the upper toolbar. A text layer appears in the composition's timeline and a cursor shows up in the center of the composition. And we can type in a text, let's say After Effects. We can also import any graphics, even video files. In my case, I'm gonna import an Illustrator file of the After Effects logo. By the way, vector files like EPS or Illustrator are most suitable when it comes to clean illustrations. We can drag and drop the file into the composition's timeline and reveal the layer's properties by clicking on the little arrows. You can animate any parameter that has a stopwatch icon. Because I want to animate scale and rotation, I'm going to click on the appropriate stopwatches and two keyframes appear at frame zero. The blue stopwatches indicate that keyframes have been set. I'm going to drag to the left on the scale values to scale down the logo. Let's say down to 16%. And that's the scale I want the logo to start with. We can now drag the blue playhead to frame 50, drag to the right on the scale value to scale up the logo, drag to the right on the rotation value until we reach 360 degrees. And by changing the values, another two keyframes are created automatically. Then I put the playhead back to frame zero, and now I want to animate the text layer that is hidden behind the After Effects logo. 
If you are familiar with Adobe Photoshop or Illustrator, you will notice that the layers in After Effects work the same. The layer above covers the layer below. I click on the little arrows to get to the transform properties, click on the position stopwatch, go to frame 50, increase just the Y position value to reposition the text to the bottom. And when we hit play, we have a simple animation. And here you can see, the changes are not coming suddenly. They take place gradually over the course of 50 frames. And that's called keyframe interpolation. But the animation starts and stops quite hard. And this is why I select all the keyframes, go to Animation, Keyframe Assistant, and Easy Ease. And you will notice that the keyframe shapes have changed. Let's hit play. And now our animation starts and stops smoothly. Now, how do we render a video file to send it to our friends or post it on Instagram, for example? I'm gonna go to Composition, add to Adobe Media Encoder, which opens up a separate program, and after some seconds, the project appears. I choose H.264 in the Format drop-down menu, which is the most common file format, and I would recommend the Adaptive High Bitrate preset to have a good video quality. Then I'm gonna click on the Output path to choose the file path, and hit on the green Play button to start rendering. And as soon as the blue progress bar has reached 100%, you can click on the Output path again to get your rendered video file. That's it, guys! Keyframes are literally the key to animation. In traditional animation, you would draw every single frame. But in computer graphics, you just need to define at least two keyframes, and the frames in between are calculated by the computer. I hope you liked this tutorial. Please subscribe and turn on the bell notification if you want to continue learning motion design. See you next time! I got a lot to do, I got a lot to do. Got a lot of